What's up, fam? Good morning. First video of the day. The girl who live streams her death on Facebook. Let's check it out. Okay, it's not in English. Didn't think it would be, wouldn't be in English, but here we are. To read one comment. I was not happy about what happened here because. Somebody said that they became permanently disabled because of a girl like this, so I don't know what's happening, but apparently she was sober during this. Predatory <laughs> signs everywhere, dude. I don't care about that. Wow. What are you doing? Happy yet? <laughs> go, 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 go! These girls look happy and full of life as they enjoy their carefree ride home, but their evening is about to be cut short in a very horrific way. That's sad, bro. <clears throat> why are they being so energetic about what they're doing, and, and why is it against the rules? And chillingly enough, the entire thing would be streamed live on Facebook. So what? Hey, bro. Okay, what the heck? Actually happened. And was there a way that it could have been avoided? Let's look into the case of the girl who live streamed her own death on Facebook. Born on December fourth. This isn't the only uh, death that has been live streamed, guys. 14th, 1995, Nicole Barabasova was a beautiful, vivacious 22-year-old woman from Duby in the Czech Republic. She was like a, one of those Russian countries. Those who knew her said she was a good person who loved dogs and had at least two of them. That's cool, that's cool. However, before this incident, Nicole had started hanging out with the wrong people who would often get into trouble to the that was me in high school, man. But it's kind of my fault because I decided, you know, I said I don't want to be like, kind of be rebellious. Point of almost being arrested at one time. Now on the evening. Yeah, better than actually being arrested, right guys? Evening of July 6th, 2017, Nicole and her friend, Nicole Vorlosky, were driving along the freeway. They got the same first name, guys. When the worst happened. Hopefully both both of them don't uh, perish here. That would be sad. The two girls, who we'll refer to as Nicole B and Nicole V in the video, had spent the day shopping and eating at McDonald's before heading home. I said it. <laughs> they had the same uh, life that, they, that we do in the USA, basically, it seems. In Nicole B's new Volkswagen Beetle. Snap, she's kind of rich then, guys. The new, oh, oh, snap, new car, actually. Wow. At some point in their journey, Nicole V decided to go live on Facebook, asking if anyone wanted to hang out since they were bored and on their way home. It was back then when uh, Facebook was popular, I guess, for young people like us. Because <laughs> yeah, I used to be on Facebook like 16 hours a day, man. 18 hours a day. In the footage, the girls appear to be having a good time as they laugh and sing along to songs. However, I never went live on Facebook, even though they had a live feature. As I, I always felt anxiety about going live, man. As the video came until recent, until like 2020, even though live streaming was a thing in like 2014, 2013. Continues, you notice that Nicole B who is behind the wheel, appears to be driving way too fast and doesn't seem to care about the road signs. She barely keeps her eyes on the road and seems more focused on appearing in the video than Dang, bro, neither of them care. What is going on, guys? Driving. Reports say that Nicole B was driving more than 74.5 miles per hour, and instead of telling her friend to slow down, Nicole V was just joking and making fun of the situation like it was no big deal. I thought they were driving in like some forest or something, or like some place they shouldn't be driving, but it seems to be just a regular road. And things would get even more scary as the video continues. At some point, Nicole B's phone started ringing, and she- I said, you know, you're young, you think you're invincible, but... And then, uh, thankfully my reality check wasn't this hard, uh, as, uh, you know, terrible as this one, bro. She actually took both her hands off the wheel to search her bag for it. 
Oh, I thought she was the, run the one in the black was driving. Uh, she's not. I mean, it's not like they're in a taxi. If they're in a taxi, they'd be completely fine here, man. We're an Uber. Pretty sad to see, actually. She would talk to her grandma for several minutes. They don't. They don't seem to be like <clears throat> quote unquote evil people. Like you know, they seem to be quite nice. And at some not doing anything like super mean. They're just going being reckless on the road, which is not <clears throat> just pretty mean in general. But yeah, um, I mean it's pretty sad to see actually. Just I mean they seem nice, but they just they're doing a mean thing, which is not you no. Know, Someone's, someone could get seriously injured. I never went like this, this quick while looking at my phone, live streaming, like. At some point, even taking her hand off the wheel to get a drink. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, distracted driving causes at least 3,000 deaths in the U.S. alone every year. And yes, cell phones and social media are among the top causes of distraction. But Nicole... Said. Actually, actually looked at. Uh, I was looking at a TikTok for one second, and then I rear-ended someone. Thankfully, I was going like zero three miles an hour, but yeah, gotta be careful, guys. And from then on, I I pledged to not use my to 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 try to like save up for a Tesla, man, because I just trust Tesla over my own driving didn't seem to care about that. She knew she was not just risking her life and that of her friend, but also that of other innocent motorists. Yet, she was unbothered. And if you're wondering whether the girls were under the influence because of how they were behaving, well, they weren't. Oh man, that's so sad. Nicole V does mention something about ratting her friend out to the police, but she says it jokingly so her friend doesn't take her seriously. What makes this case even more- hey, Imagine being the grandma watching this, man. If she was watching this, bro. This. More frustrating and infuriating is that these two knew what they were doing was wrong. And yet they did it anyway. They even joke about being stopped by the cops for violating traffic rules. It was all fun and games until Nicole B decided to accelerate with the intention of hitting 105 miles per hour. All along, Nicole V was still live on Facebook, reading the viewers' comments and telling them how worried she was for the first time that her friend was driving this fast. Uh, man, she's actually worried as well. No, man. And she had every reason. To be worried. These girls were still talking and giggling when suddenly Nicole V screams in horror as her friend is seen trying to control the car. And in a split second, Nicole V is thrust forward and the car flips over. And they both had their um, seat belts on for this as well, guys. Cars are so dangerous. You're thinking you're like in a spaceship that's uh, you don't get hurt in, but stuff like this happens, man. Sad. But one of the most horrible parts of the video is the eerie silence that follows after the crash. Just a few seconds ago, the car was full of life with the girls laughing and talking as the engine ran and the stereo played. But now, everything was dead. Hey bro, even the, the, the stereo wasn't playing, guys. 
silent, with only the haunting sounds of the windscreen wipers, which had been turned on by the crash. Bro, it's like one of those fictional stories, bro. But it's actually real. It was reported that the Volkswagen Beetle crashed near a town called Oprince after hitting a barrier and flipping over into oncoming traffic. Nicole V seemed to have dropped her phone and the camera was now focusing on one of the seatbelts. The video continued to run for about 20 minutes after the crash and after what seemed like a lifetime, you hear a concerned man calling to check if the girls were okay. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Don't go, don't go. Nicole V seems to regain consciousness before the paramedics arrive, and you can hear her groaning in pain as a woman tries to comfort her. When the paramedics arrive, they found that Nicole B had suffered from serious head injuries and sadly died while being airlifted to the hospital. Nicole V was also rushed to the hospital with multiple injuries, but luckily survived. All this while, Dang, bro, she's like scarred for life now, man. All bad, all bad. No one noticed that the entire incident was being broadcasted on Facebook. It seemed like the phone had fallen into the back seat during the accident and was not recovered until nearly the end of the video. I can just imagine how awful it must have been for the families and friends. Dang, you, 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 you just chilling there. Or not chilling there. He was like looking for the phone and then he finds it. He actually finds it, right? Finds it right there with a, with it being live, probably, or, or the phone died. Wow. Ends to watch helplessly as all of this happened, especially Nicole B's family, who had to learn that she died through Facebook. Eventually, a police officer did find the phone in the car and can be seen picking it up and taking it to his colleagues, who were trying to identify the girls. <laughs> Dang, bro. And the thing, police officers would do this almost daily where they have to deal with, like, gruesome scenes like this, man. A few minutes later, Nicole B's dad arrived at the scene and confirmed her identity. You can actually feel his heart breaking as he tells the emergency workers how he bought this new car for his daughter and she ended up killing herself with it. <laughs> The live stream doesn't end until Nicole V's dad arrives and takes the phone from the police before switching it off completely. Needless to say, Dude, I, I would totally. Yeah, he had no words there, man. Like I would, e I wouldn't either, bro. I'm not sure if he knew or saw that chat right there, but yeah. Okay, the harrowing footage. That'd be a time to grieve, bro went viral and was shared across all social media platforms. When people learned that Nicole B had died in the crash, they flooded her Facebook page with prayers and messages of condolences. One person wrote, I am terribly sorry for all your loved ones and everyone who loved you. Damn bro, and to see that live, whoever saw that live, uh, uh, they might probably need to go through like therapy and stuff, man. You. Deepest condolences. Meanwhile, Nicole V was in the hospital intensive care unit for a while, but luckily survived the ordeal. And after leaving the hospital, she completely vanished from social media. Now, while many people felt bad for the girls and sympathized with their families, there was still some criticism for how the girls were behaving before the crash, with many believing that it could have been avoided. If the girls had been more careful and more focused on the road instead of social media, maybe Nicole B would still be alive today. It's just a miracle that no one else got hurt during this accident. Terrifyingly, this is not the first case where teens and young adults have been caught live streaming themselves while driving carelessly. Do you remember the case of Abdulia Sanchez? I do not, I do not, guys. As in July 2017, she was driving while live streaming on Instagram when she ended up crashing her car and killing her little sister instantly. And as if that's not enough, she actually continued streaming the gruesome incident, showing her sister's gory body strewn on the field. Dude, what are you doing, bro? That's, a, that's terrible. That's horrific, man. She was arrested for this and sentenced to six years in prison. Then, in April 2019, three young women recorded themselves on Snapchat, drinking and driving on the wrong side of the road. The driver ended up colliding with another car and was killed instantly, and her two passengers were injured. The other driver was also seriously injured and had to go into a medically induced coma. There are so many... So sad, so sad. I'm... Terrifying story. That's why I'm also scared of driving, because I recently got hit by a car.
Uh, I need to make a story time video about it, but yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was pretty um badly hurt, man. My testicles launched out of my scrotum. It was that bad. Stories that we hear every day, but despite that. People just don't seem to want to learn. What do you think about this case? Would you call a friend out for driving carelessly? Let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I got Anna Sauls in the description, but yeah. Even as a teen, I understand why people never thought it made them cool to be reckless with people's lives, including their own, and not care. My whole body dropped when she took both her hands off her phone to grip. Off to grab her phone in her bag. Social media has ruined society. I can only imagine how horrified the grandma was to find out about the accident, judging by the fact she had just spoken to them a few minutes ago. Call me evil, but I don't feel dumb. Uh, I don't feel for these dumb girls. You can't simply fix stupid. Now, however, I feel for the family. Social media is. Her teenager needs to watch this video. I sympathize with the family. They are stupid and reckless. Do I say? Pretty sad, pretty sad, man. But yeah, that's a video. Check out original creator description. I'll see you guys next one. I do every li reaction live on Twitch. If you want to come through, you know, Twitch Primes or something, you're welcome. I'll see you guys next one. Okay, guys, stay safe, stay safe.